So one of the things I've been noticing about this radio is I haven't used it in a while. And the screen resolution is not real good. For some reason I remembered it being better. On the display itself, it's not too bad. But when you get into the monitor... Now, when you usually when you film it, it doesn't really look that bad. But... Let me try like a different band here. With a little more... It's really hard to look at this with all the noise. There's some Aurora happening also. Um, so, it's really hard to look at these signals. In either event, it looks real crappy. So, let's see, maybe, is there anything on 20? 20 looks pretty quiet, so. You see it's just not real clear at all. And then it's even worse on here. Um, let me go back to 80. Yeah. And we would do like a zoom in on a signal. I don't know what our span is. 50k. Let's go look at 20k. We can kind of... It doesn't look real good on here. It, like, it really, really doesn't. So I'm going to switch over here. I have to... Uh, hold on. Right now I don't have an antenna hooked to it. Anything I pick up will be like really, really strong noise. Well, we're going to go 3806. And now, one thing I immediately noticed is this radio sounds better than that one. Like, it just does. This, and I, I don't have these hooked up to external speakers. So, I don't know. I mean, it's, it looks really, really nasty on the display, and it's way worse. The camera kind of dresses it up a little bit, but on the radio, it's not too bad. So, it is right there. Hold on. Okay. So we won't even look at this one, but let's just put it on just for the hell of it. This thing's beyond horrible. We can't even see the signal on this one. But... You see the resolution that we have here? And it doesn't matter, I can in and out. That's all the way out. That's like looking at 3.48. You see, it gets rid of a lot of the noise that we were picking up on here. We kind of... You just really can't get that kind of a uh, uh, resolution. You want me to go here? 
So right now we're looking at 37 to 384. Well, we can slide that over like if we wanted to. But I don't need to be looking at these guys that wide. And this radio tracks with whatever I'm looking at. But I mean, you just look at that. It's like, they just ain't there yet on these radios, really. Uh, and there's better software than this. Like, if you look at, like, Thetis or something, you know, if you get a Hermes light, if, you know, because most of us can't afford it in a non or whatever. But even the Flex and all that, I mean, like, I don't think that any of the newer radios come close to this kind of resolution. Um, there's some limitations on all of it. There's trade-offs on all of it, but the 710, uh, it's a great radio, but I've gotten used to using this, and I really don't want to go back to the, that display there. Now, I, I would love to see like that display look more like that with this waterfall down on it. As honestly, I don't care for any of this crap here. It doesn't look much like a radio to me. This this looks like a damn radio. Um, but, um, look at this. I mean, if we were to switch this, these signals are not going to look this clean on the waterfall. Let's come over here. We'll go ahead and we'll hook it up again. I wish I had like an A-B switch. Anyway. It's just really pixelated. And it's just not that clear. It's the resolution is is really really not great. So I'm guessing that the 7300 is even worse. Um, because I seem to remember that this radio was was a little bit cleaner than the 7300, but we're seeing these lines too in the radio. Maybe it's just that the receiver is just not as good or something, but um, with the display output, we're, we're losing resolution from this to that. that that's a fact. They didn't uh, design it to where, you know, it was going to be great. But, I mean, when you just kind of casually look at it, I mean, it looks pretty good, but if I, like, stare back like that, you know. I don't know. Let's go back over to that. I, I definitely think that the uh, yeah, 710 has some advantages for sure. Man, look at that. And there, I don't see those weird lines popping up in the thing. So you really can't change too much on the uh, the waterfall display of the 710 either. You can't do a lot with this one either. Like, I would like to uh, change, uh, you know, this top part here, but I haven't figured out how to do it. So, and since I do a lot of listening nowadays and not much talking, I really do use this more. Anyway, I'd share that with you guys.